Hey everybody, David here with the Fragrance Bros. Now many of you may have already seen the live video that I had a couple of weeks ago. I was on vacation and I went to go see Jer for a few days. And while we were there, we shot some reviews of the Imaginary Authors line. So it was a giant video, uh, over an hour long. So I wanted to cut it up into individual reviews so maybe people can find them a little easier. If you want to go see the full live video, you can go down here. I'll have a link down below to that. So without any further ado, here's our review of Falling Into the Sea. All right, let's go to Falling Into the Sea next. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I do not have a bottle of this. I have a decan of this, and it's at my house. But luckily. But Jeremy. Travel spray in the house. Jeremy has a travel spray. I love these travel sprays. It's about 15 mils, if you haven't heard or whatever. They're really good, they're really good price for what you get. I believe there's about 45 five dollars I could be totally wrong thirty eight dollars Paul Tashman says says it's thirty eight dollars for a travel spray even better all right so let's get straight to it date introduced for falling into the sea is 2012 it's classified as a floral aquatic notes are lemon bergamot grapefruit lychee tropical flowers and warm sand what do you get out of longevity out of this I get great longevity out of this fragrance um, I get probably, well, you know what, let's say average. I'm going to say eight hours in, on average. Average on average. I get freaking beast mode. Do you? On this. Like, it lasts on me, like, the last time I wore it, yeah. it lasted about 23 hours. What? I'm not even joking. Should I do it? Yeah, do it. Beast mode! <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think it lasts that long on me all the time, Yeah, but it lasts a long time, at least excellent on me. And that's saying something because wow. this is not the type of fragrance I would have expected the last Beast Mode. Yeah. Or at least excellent. Right. But lemon and bergamot, grapefruit, that doing? lychee. <laughs> so, yeah. It's very, very much a... Uh, a uh, citrusy-based fragrance and it lasted forever on me. Totally. And sometimes... You smell yourself and it's on your shirt, mm -hmm. but I took my shirt off and changed into a different shirt, and it was still there. So that's how you know. Took your shirt off, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so good longevity. What yeah. about projection? It pushes. It pushes yeah. excellent, excellently. It's very strong. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would say it's average to excellent. We can't get or... on the same page about anything, Dave. <laughs> Really good projection as well. Yeah. Some uh, season, I would say this is great for summer, mm -hmm. primarily only for summer. Yeah. And uh, good for daytime. It is. And good I would say really only for daytime. Yeah. Purpose good like for... in purpose, I would say this is really only for casual. Mm -hmm. I don't. I couldn't see this for anything else other than casual. No. Why would you say that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm just saying. I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what does this remind you of? You know what's funny? What is lychee? Can we start with that? Yeah, lychee is like a lychee. Uh, tropical fruit. Okay. I believe it grows in Asia. Okay. So, I know that this is like fruit heavy. Yeah. But I get more floral than than you would think from this uh, ordering of the notes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I get a yeah. lot of floral. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is I feel like I smell apricot sometimes, even though it's not listed in the notes. I don't know what it is about... I don't know what okay. lychee is, but it, like, like the first three are like citrus, but it doesn't smell just citrusy to me. There's something else going on there—a different kind of fruit smell. Um, I think it's pretty feminine, even though it's the notes don't seem that feminine. I think to me it's a little feminine. Yeah, my wife wore it mostly, and I thought it worked pretty well on her. It's just kind of like a happy, airy kind of to me, kind of girly summer scent. You know what I mean? It, it smells great. It lasts a long time. Uh, yeah, I definitely agree. This was intended for a, um, uh, uh, this was intended for women. Okay. So this is a female fragrance. However, yeah. I do think that this, uh, can be worn for men. Do you? Um, I do. And I wore this a lot and didn't feel out of place. Okay. You know, sometimes whenever I have to test female fragrances, I'll, I'll wear it and begrudgingly wear it. Yeah. And know that it just, it just is out of place. Right. Um, but, um, that you're doing it for the art. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. <laughs> you said that you feel kind of comfortable wearing it. Yeah. I actually felt pretty uncomfortable wearing it. Really? Okay. And I don't know what it was. Like, it, it just seemed, it, it's not like super feminine 
or anything like that. But it was feminine enough to where I felt like it was like a happy kind of airy sort of like my wife wearing a sundress kind of thing. That's just like the image it conjured in my mind. And so once that had locked in in there, I couldn't really let it go. So here's what I get. Yeah. This is primarily what I smell. The first time I smelled this and when I started wearing it, whenever I smelled this, I could not get it out of my head. Lay it on me. Sweet tarts. You told me that. <laughs> I don't get that. Okay, a little bit. <laughs> it smells like sweet tarts, dude. Somebody said dryer sheets. Dryer sheets. I can see that too. That's pretty close too. Yeah. So yeah, I, this to me smells like sweet tarts, um, but like, that's not bad to me. No, I man. think that's cool. That's like a weird side association. It is. You know. It very much is. You don't smell like sweet tarts when you wear it. Right. You know. Okay, so I asked I asked Josh what he intended for this to smell like. Yeah. Uh, what, what his direction was, and he said that he created this to be a rich, uh, uh, full citrus scent mm -hmm. with the richer fruits uh, and cream supposed to make the citrus and the uh, that were supposed to make the citrus sweeter and thicker. Yeah. Um. To me, to me, even though I think that's a, a cool intention for it to make a, a thicker, sweeter, fuller type of citrus scent, mm -hmm. I don't think he did a great job in, in no. for that. Yeah. Because to me, I think this is not full and thick, though it is sweet. It's very, very much sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of times with me, whenever I uh, talk about scents, a lot of the associations that I put towards things are related to music because I'm a, I'm, a music, I'm a musician I think some of you already knew that mm -hmm. uh, but so to me if, if you're a musician or if you're into sound at all mm -hmm. um, you're into uh, EQ equalization mm -hmm. you'll know you know lows middles highs whatever mm -hmm. this to me smells like it has all highs mm. and even ultra highs mm. and not a lot of mids or lows okay so it seems like it's lacking a lot of fullness here that a lot of uh, fragrances have. I like that. So yeah, this to me smells like it, it has a lot of like the highs, ultra highs, almost like ice pick highs. And so it's almost piercing in the way it smells. Yeah. But just like before the threshold, just okay. before your ears bleed. You know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's okay. something about like it, it almost goes too far. Yeah. So to me, it, it seems like it's lacking in some of the 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 depth and the the beefiness that I would expect from something yeah. that's supposed to have fullness there. Yeah. So that's my that's my main complaint. Okay. But uh, what I will also say is, this is a great alternative for uh, for uh, beach scents. Yes. Because it's not cliche. You're right on that. That is spot yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. So if you're going to the beach, I think this is great as something that is not going to smell like a typical beach scent does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so very much uh, a good one. I think this is a really safe buy for your lady. Yeah. Frankly. And if your lady is uh, like the serious, more complex type, yesterday haze. Yeah. If your lady is a bit lighter and a bit more playful, then go with falling into the sea. Or maybe yeah. seasons. Maybe like a fall and a, and a summer. Like a winter and a summer. I think there's a certain type of guy out there that, that will like this. Hmm. Um, I liked it all right. Yeah. So, and I'll wear it again. I have a pretty big decan of this. Yeah. So I'll be wearing this some more. You do have a big decan of this. I've seen it. Yeah. Also, my kids really like this. I don't know what it is. My kids really enjoy wearing this scent, my, especially my daughter. But my, my son also likes this a lot, too. Yeah. Yeah. So Bank for Buck mm -hmm. um, is $95 for 50 mil. Totally worth it. Yeah. Um, more, probably more for a woman, but I think also for a certain type of guy. Yes, yes. I think it's, it'll last a long time. Good bang for the buck. Yep. A very safe buy for your lady, I would say. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, great for casual yep. beach type of things. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what about compliments? Uh, no, but, so I didn't wear it a whole lot. I mostly just smelled it on my wife, and I complimented her on it. Yeah. But... I was not real comfortable wearing it, so I didn't get okay. any compliments from wearing it myself. Yeah. I think that says something. Yeah. I didn't really get many compliments when I... I've never gotten a really good compliment when I wore that, mm -hmm. when I've worn it. My wife didn't really care for it, and yeah. uh, so That'd there's that. Be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, final rating. I'm going to give this a four out of five. I actually think it's a really nice fragrance. I just can't wear it. Yeah. But I really like it on, on the wife. 
I'm gonna give this a four out of five as well. I really like this scent. Sweet. I think it's a really fantastic scent. I know. It's interesting. I don't really get much of a sandy quality in that. You know, the, you yeah. Know. But I see like the beach thing going on. Yeah. So yeah, fantastic scent, especially for ladies. But I think it's it's really good. What? I just want to read the quote. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Caught in the undertow of his salty lemon lips, I caught myself drifting helplessly into a soundless summer of consciousness. <laughs> it needs to be a girl reading that. <laughs> if you have any questions about uh, falling in the sea, let us know. Yeah. And we'll answer those. We're about to go to our next review, our last review for the night. Thanks again for watching this video. If you want to go watch the full video, I'll have a link down below to that if you want to go watch it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast May Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.